Hello and welcome back to the Hasbro Jan YouTube channel, it is Harry here and today it is time to do another What Are They Now style video based on a league or a specific season of a league in question. I've done this before with the first seasons of La Liga and Liga and also the very first campaign of the European Cup and today it is the inaugural season of the Football League second division all the way back in 1892. It came into being when the Football Alliance League merged with the Football League in 1892 and a system of promotion and relegation was introduced for the very first time. It wouldn't be in the format which we know today though, as it was decided by a system of so-called test matches, whereby the bottom three in the first division and the top three in the second division would play against each other, with 14th playing third, 15th playing second and 16th, or last, playing first, and if the second tier side won, then they would be considered for election into the first division, but if they lost, then they would stay exactly where they already were, meaning that technically speaking, you could win the league, but still not go up. Today's video is all about the 12 teams who took part in that 1892-93 season and how their fortunes have panned out ever since that seminal campaign, and, as the title would suggest, where they are now. If you want me to look at any other leagues or specific seasons of leagues, then let me know which ones down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to bring them to you. And of course, if you haven't done so already, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already because it genuinely, genuinely, genuinely means the world to me and it will help this channel grow a lot. But without any further ado, let's have a look at each of the 12 teams who took part in the inaugural second division campaign in 1892-93 and what has happened to them in the years since. Birmingham City the Championship. Birmingham City were called Small Heath back in 1892 and they wouldn't even have Birmingham in their name until 1905, but they would make history in this inaugural second division campaign by becoming the first ever champions of the league. In spite of this, they would lose their test match to Newton Heath, soon to be Manchester United, who had finished last in the first division that season, by a scoreline of 5 goals to 2 in a replay, meaning that they were the only team out of the top 3 in the second division that season not to go up, although they would defeat Darwin in next season's test matches to finally reach the promised land. They have spent every year since, barring a three year spell from 1989 until 1992, in either the top tier or the second tier of English football, with their biggest piece of silverware to date being two League Cups in 1963 and 2011, and they are currently 18th in the Championship, safe from relegation for another season. Bootle Dissolved a club originating from Lancashire, Bootle were a curious club during their existence, which, admittedly, was very short lived. Despite finishing 8th that season, subsequently avoiding the re-election process, they ran into extreme financial troubles which led to them resigning from the league altogether, becoming the joint first club to leave the Football League completely alongside Accrington and one of only two teams to have only spent one season in the Football League alongside the also defunct side of Middlesbrough Aeronopolis. They ceased all activities completely at the end of the season, with Liverpool taking their place in the second tier in 1893-94, and a new club from the region wouldn't be established until 1948. Burton Swifts Dissolved The second consecutive club in this video who no longer exists, Burton Swifts barely made it into the 20th century, as in 1901 they merged with Burton Wanderers to form Burton United, but just nine years on, United themselves would merge with Burton All Saints, before both had merged with the current League One outfit of Burton Albion in 1950. And brief. The original team, the Swifts, actually achieved their highest ever league finish in this very campaign, as they came in sixth, a position that they matched the following campaign, but after struggling towards the bottom end of the table for a number of years, even surviving re-election in 1897, they came bottom in 1901 and joined forces with the Wanderers, who had also been a league side themselves between 1894 and 1897. Crew Alexandra League One With a name paying homage to Princess Alexandra, the wife of 2B Edward VII, Crew didn't really showcase royal form in their brief first tenure in the Football League, as they finished in the bottom four for four straight seasons, including 10th in the season of our main focus and two more times in last place, meaning that they were put up for re-election each and every time. They survived for three seasons but were finally voted out in 1896, failing to return to the Football League until the third division's inception in 1921, which they joined as founder members, much like they had with the second division some 29 years prior. They find themselves in 14th place in League 1 with one game left to go, having been promoted from League 2 in the Curtail 2019-20 season. Although they do hold the unwanted record of finishing in last place of the Football League more times than any other, with 8 wooden spoons to their name. Darwin Dissolved 
The only team in the entire league who had spent at least a season in the Football League before 1892, Darwin had finished in last place in the first division the season prior, conceding 112 goals in the process. But they immediately bounced back the next season by finishing third and then beating Notts County 3-2 in their test match. However, they were relegated again in 1894 and in 1899 they endured one of the worst seasons in English football history as they lost 18 straight games during the course of the season and let in 141 goals, both of which are still unwanted records to this day. And needless to say, they didn't apply for re-election and dropped out of the Football League. They would never return, slumming it out for the next century in the doldrums of the non-league game. But in 2009, after having survived two separate liquidation attempts in the previous six years, they were finally dissolved, with Phoenix Club AFC Darwin now in the Northwest Counties League. Evolution theory at its finest. Grimsby Town, League Two. Grimsby's status as a League Two club will not last for much longer, as their relegation to the National League was confirmed last week as of time of this recording after a 3-2 defeat to Exeter. Their debut campaign in the Football League was this 1892-93 season in which they finished 4th, one place but a massive 7 points away from the test match positions. The club have also had the likes of Bill Shankly and Laurie McMenemy as managers in the years since, were one of the only two clubs alongside Hull City who were allowed to play on Christmas Day as a result of the fish trade and are the only Lincolnshire based outfit to have ever played in the top flight at some point, giving them some bragging rights over their local rivals. Speaking of which, Lincoln City, League One. As you may have deduced, Lincoln City have never been in the first division, with the closest they've ever come being a fifth place finish in the second tier in 1902, which was four places higher than where they finished in 1893 as they came in ninth and were put up for re-election, although they did survive it that particular year. After falling into the non-league game for the first time in their history in 2011, they have come storming back in recent times, becoming the first non-league club since 1914 to reach the quarterfinals of the FA Cup back in 2017 and are due to contest the League One playoffs this season, currently in 4th place and 5 points ahead of 7th place with just one game left to go. Manchester City, Premier League Quite astonishingly, Manchester City are one of only two teams in this entire video to currently be competing in the Premier League, but they are, without any question, the best team today out of the crop who took part in the inaugural second division season. Known as Arbic at the time, they finished in a respectable fifth place before changing their name to Manchester City in 1894 and winning promotion for the first time in their history in 1899. Nowadays, they are a juggernaut of the English game, well on course to win their third title in four years and in the Champions League semi-finals for the second time in their history, with their fortunes having been transformed after the purchase of the club by Sheikh Mansour's riches back in 2008. Northwich Victoria, Northwest Counties League Premier Division. As the name might suggest, North of Victoria were named after the incumbent monarch at the time in Queen Victoria, meaning that they are the second team to feature who have royalty in their official club title after Crew Alexandra. The club who provided the starting point for the career of Billy Meredith, the man who went on to play for both Manchester City and Manchester United and help establish the PFA, North of Victoria would only spend two seasons as a league club, coming in seventh in their debut campaign before finishing in last the season after, losing all of their away games that season. They couldn't keep up with the demands of professionalism and so they decided to become amateur once more and fall into the non-league game, where they have remained ever since, as they currently compete in the Northwest Counties League, which is the ninth tier of English football. Port Vale, League Two. The beloved club of Robbie Williams, who of course wasn't around in 1893 to see the club who were then known as Burstland Port Vale compete in the first ever second division season, Vale finished in second to last place and were thus put up for re-election, but they would survive the vote. They hold the unwanted record of having spent the most seasons in the Football League, with 109, and the most in the second tier, on 41, by any club who has never reached the first division, with their highest finish coming in 1930 when they ended up in fifth in the second division. After going on a run of just three wins in 25 games earlier this season, it looked like they might be spending a season outside of the Football League for the first time in over a century, but eight wins in their last nine games have guided them to mid-table security, or mediocrity, dependent on how you view it. Sheffield United, Premier League Although they are technically speaking still a Premier League side right now, Sheffield United will be playing in the Championship next season after a wretched campaign which saw them pick up just two points from their first 17 games and make the worst start to an English top fight season in history from which they never recovered. 
Times were very different for the club back in the 1890s though, as they came in second place in 1893 and won their test match against Accrington to book their place in the first division for next season and by the end of the 1920s they won the league once and the FA Cup on four separate occasions, making them one of the most successful sides in English football history at the time, especially given how much more significant the FA Cup was than the league. Walsall Town, League 2 if you've been keeping track, you'll have noticed that the only position left to fill in this season is last place, and that was taken up by Walsall Town Swifts, now known as just Walsall Town. But despite accruing 13 points and winning just 5 games all season, they, like all the other clubs who have put up for the re-election process that season, survived it. They would succumb to failing re-election in 1895 and again in 1901, but ever since their return with the inauguration of the 3rd Division in 1921, they have been mainstays in the Football League, although the closest they have come to actually dropping out of the Football League ever since is actually this current season, as they realistically cannot finish higher than 17th in League 2 and could finish as low as 21st should results go against them on the final day, which will mark their lowest league position in their entire history. Well, that's wraps up today's video looking at every single team who competed in the inaugural second division campaign in 1892-93 and what has happened to those teams since and for those who are still existing where they are now and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already because it really helps the channel grow somewhat and as I said at the start if you have any more suggestions for specific leagues or certain seasons that you want me to cover and bring to you via the medium of YouTube stick them down in the comments below and I'll endeavour to make them happen. Thank you very very much for watching and until next time I'll see you then